Hey, it's me, Silvio. We are in Island Park, New York, for another helical pile installation. I'm gonna show you guys around what we're doing on this project. We're installing 44 piles, 278 round shaft piles on this project. We have some dewatering going on here. We started here yesterday. We're just about to finish what we're doing. Okay, as you can see, um, we are going with square shafts, square lead shafts, and then with a uh, with a special bracket going into a round shaft. One single story house going up here. In about a, a few weeks, it's going to get a uh, great beam here. Three feet by 18 inches thick great beam over these park caps. Some of them need to be adjusted to height still. And then we got the middle piece here to support the other uh, structure of this house. I'm going to go inside the machine and film a little bit about the installation process. Stay with us. Alright, back on this side here again. I want to show you guys what I was talking about before. Is that transition from a square shaft lead to a round shaft extension. That's that tool next to it. Alright, we get transition to round shaft pipe. My structure engineer designed this this way. Okay? For a different load. I'm gonna come over and show you guys. Okay, the piles have been installed here. All we are missing are the new construction pod caps that need to be secured to all of these in here, we bolt it on. Now this water, it might look bad, but it's just ground water. My water table here. While some guys might shy away from projects like these, we look forward. It's this kind of work that excels us and it gives us our reputation. Okay, doing the right thing, no matter what conditions we have. I'm going to go back inside the machine and do a little bit of fire installation. Okay, inside my machine now. Driving down one lead section. As you can see, the torque. Usually the first section you don't, you can log the torque. On this side, we finished all of these here already. And I'm going to lift it up, put another extension on it, and continue driving it down to the depth of about roughly 20, 25 feet. Just gonna lift it up now. And we're putting another extension on it. Two piles at the same time. Alright. Trying to finish up this pile. section going down. And I'm looking for 3,000 foot pounds of torque. And there it is. Now, I'm going to continue driving 
the pile down until it reaches its determined height. As you can see, okay, well above the 3,000 foot pounds of torque that we have. Okay, my pile reached my height and I'm going to pull the machine up. Done. Okay, this concludes the video of this little fire installation. Please stay tuned for phase two and three of this project. Well, we're out of filming the fall of this concrete great beam. The subsequently after that, 10 foot high foundation wall off the ground here. Thank you for watching. This is Silvio with High Rise Industries. I'll see you soon on the next project.